I'm getting kind of tired of the camo pattern on this bow, so I'm gonna spray paint it. Now, I don't have a problem whatsoever with this camo pattern. It's the Under Armour Ridge Reaper camo, which whenever I bought this bow, what, five or six years ago, that's all I wanted. I just wanted a bow in Ridge Reaper camo, even though I never owned anything in Ridge Reaper camo. Now, I'm more of a Sitka fanboy, and I'm not gonna paint it Sitka camo, but just the Ridge Reaper doesn't really match anymore. And lately the Wraith has been, everybody wants solid color bows, which I absolutely love the looks of. So what I'm gonna do is spray paint it tan. And it's not regular spray paint, it's plastic dip. So it gives a more rubberized feel. And these dampers used to be blue. I spray painted them red, which was a terrible idea because they cracked right whenever I put them back on. But plastic dip makes a red spray paint too, which gives a rubberized feel. And I did that on this Stampin' right here. Turned out really good, except it's not red, it's more maroon. So my bow is gonna look more like an A&M bow, even though I go to Texan, not Texan, go to Tarleton, go Texans. But I still love the look of it, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna switch these veins out, these red veins, since I'm not gonna have any more red on my bow. I'm gonna put white veins on, which I'm gonna love the look of that too. So right now what we're gonna do is take all my dampeners off, throw them in some isopropyl alcohol so they can soak up and get rid of all the current paint on there. And we'll spray paint that maroon and we'll paint this bow after we tape it off, we'll paint this tan. It's gonna look amazing. Now I also have that painted red, my spot hog. Might change that out for white. I'm not sure, we'll have to see how it looks afterwards, but with most of these dampeners, they pop right out. Hope they didn't break. Pop right out. Those might be a little bit harder. Yeah, I'll do that off camera. But once I see you again, that actually might come off right now. Yep. Once I take all the dampeners off, I'll be right back. Well, took everything off except for my rest because I don't want to jack up or I don't want to mess with the retuning my bow. And I didn't take off my stabilizer mounts just because I'm too lazy to do that. So now we're going to seal everything off. I was skeptical about doing the limbs because I don't know if that's going to be too much wear with them moving back and forth with the paint on there, but I think it'll be fine. So we're going to paint the limbs too and we're about to throw the dampeners in the isopropyl alcohol. Well, we have everything masked off, ready to go. Uh, I decided to mask off the limbs to one because it was way too hard for me to try to mask it off the right way where I can paint both the riser and the limbs without having to mess with the cam. Just I, I just decided to mask everything off and two, I still feel like it might have a negative effect with having paint on the limbs. We have all of the dampeners pretty much cleaned off, ready to go. And now it's time for the fun part. All right, um, so I think I'm going to do three, maybe four coats. On my first go around, I'm really going to focus on these inside edges just because the paint isn't going to hit it as much if I just went straight down and on the very first coat I will do a very light coat where I can still see the camo pattern underneath it. I guess my inspiration is more of a the buckskin camo, not camo, buckskin solid color that Hoyt has been coming out with for a couple of years. I don't know if they still do it or not, but whenever they made this though, they had a buckskin option, which I also really like. But instead of buying a new bow, this is plan B. Okay, first layer of the bow is done. I might have um, sprayed it a little bit too thick in some areas, but I think it'll turn out fine. Now stabilizers is next, and it's actually a Kuyu camo, just because I bought them used. But now we don't have to worry about the Kuyu camo anymore. Now with these dampeners, I just have them on paper clips, just stuck it straight through. 
so I can hang them on afterward. And now with the red, go probably three coats. We'll see how it goes. All right, I just finished painting my very first layer on everything. Now we wait 30 minutes and we'll come back for layer two. Now we do the exact same process three more times, maybe two more times. We'll just see how it goes. Here's after the second coat. There's barely any camo still showing, but I think it looks amazing. Here's the quiver, it looks pretty good. And then here is one of the stabilizers. So a little bit of camo showing. Now here's those dampeners. Really hard for them to focus, but they're turning out great. These two are a little bit more vibrant because they're naturally red while the other ones are blue, but hopefully they can match up on the right color after this this next coat. So the fourth coat is done and I absolutely love it, but we're not done yet. Um, once I wait 30 more minutes for this coat to dry, I'm going to seal off this area except for the rest and I'm going to spray paint this area red just to match the accessories and give it a little bit of a thicker grip. I don't like the stock Hoyt grip that came with it. Never liked it, took it right off, too thick. I love the thin grip but I think a little bit of red on there will spice things up. So while I was trying to mask off the surrounding areas for me to paint the grip red, um, the masking tape kind of peeled off the finish because I didn't wait longer, long enough for it to dry fully. So I had to cut off all that. Now I need to repaint that and I'm not sure if I'm going to want to paint it red just because I don't want to risk going through that process again. Back after four more layers on the handle and it looks just like how it was. And then I added one more layer to the entire bow and now I just ran out of paint. So that paint can probably could have lasted me six or seven layers if I didn't mess up on the grip. And now we're gonna wait two hours and I'm going to try the red grip one more time. So it's been three hours since the last coat and I decided to take off most of the tape and I'm gonna hit it with some flat clear coat to hopefully prevent any future peeling. So I'll do that and we'll be right back and hopefully I can still paint that red after I put this on and make the finish stronger. Well, the sticky notes would not stick so I had to use some weaker masking tape so hopefully that doesn't peel any tape off and we are about to go to town to paint that red hopefully it doesn't paint the rest of the bow red but it looks like i'm doing a pretty good amount of precaution well i just finished the third coat took off the masking tape and it looks perfect i don't think i would want it any better but now i'm going to wait three or four hours and after that once that is completely dried up, I will hit it one or two times, very light coat of clear coat to make sure that part doesn't peel away. And probably wait till the morning to make sure everything is completely dry. Then we'll put the bow back together. I'm excited. Now, while we wait for the bow to dry, I'm going to refletch these arrows plus fletch up some new arrows, except I'm gonna have to get these cut with some white AAE Max Stealth veins, since there's no real true vibrant red on that bow anymore. Um, I think it'll look better since white is a very neutral color that looks good on anything. Um, if you want, if y'all want a tutorial on how I fletch my arrows, go leave that in the comments below. But since that isn't the purpose of this video, I will do that off camera and it might take me a while, but for you, it'll be done just like that. They're all done, look pretty good. Now let's go see how the bow's looking. 
So after several coats on the grip and several clear coats after that, finally took off all the masking tape. Looks great. Now we're going to wait till the morning to let this fully dry and tomorrow we'll set it up and we'll see how it looks then. Well, it's the next day, got everything put back together and I think it looks slick. I could not have asked for anything better. Let's throw the quiver on there. We got the white veins. I love that. Looks absolutely amazing. Through the, through some se severed decals on the stabilizers. Sever doesn't make stabilizers, that I know of, but I just love Sever. Even got it on my spot hog. I have never shot an animal that has ran more than 30 yards with Sever. So Sever, if you're watching this video, sponsor me. I love y'all. But yeah, let's go shoot it. So it's the next morning. It's currently 623. The sun is just now jumping over the horizon and it looks beautiful. We have the bow painted up all ready to shoot and I couldn't I I noticed in the last clip you couldn't really see what I was talking about but there's that sever sticker I was talking about along with the one on the stabilizer on both sides and then on the back bar but like I said I absolutely love sever broadheads I will probably shoot sever till the day I die so I'm serious, Sever, if you see this video, hit me up, sponsor me, we can get something going. Forgot to range the target. 29, I was set to 20. That was a good catch. All right. See how it shoots. I love it. Um, if you're thinking about painting your bow, I'd say go for it. You have nothing to lose if you use plastic dip because if you don't like it. You can just peel it off after a little bit of um, elbow grease. Only problem that I ran into was with the dampeners. They turned out great, except for the very few spots where it was a super tight fit. It peeled off a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. You can barely tell. Um, but let's take it out to 80. Seventy-eight yards. I know that this bow has been shooting a little bit low. Well, not the bow itself, but the sight tape is a little bit off. But that's not a big deal. We'll set it to seventy-nine and see how it goes. But I'll replace my tape soon. Um, a couple hunts that I'm planning on going on in the near future um, that I'm going to try to film is for sure one second by the way I just bought this marsupial pack great investment well worth the money right in there um, so for sure going to do a mule deer hunt either in the panhandle of texas or in arizona still need to discuss that with my buddies i'm going to try to go on a tennessee black bear hunt in september which would be cool to film definitely white tails and pigs
also I'm going to try to get some caught you that was a good catch sorry my tripod is very sketchy right now to get it as high as possible because I'm a tall person but glad I caught that anyway back to hunts what else did I have Maybe Whitetail in Michigan. I'm not sure if I'm going to go on that because that's an 18 hour drive from Texas. But if I do, I'll try to film all of it. Oh, and a bunch of thermal hunting. I'll try to get as many thermal hunting clips as possible to you guys. Uh, which would be fun. Love thermal hunting. That's it's basically. My two biggest hobbies, archery and thermal hunting. I don't know what to say now. I guess subscribe. I'm going to make a video soon about how I got my license to carry being only 19 years old. So watch out for that video if you're under 21 and you want to get your license to carry. Um, follow me on Instagram. It'll be down in the, what's called, the description. And I will catch you on the next video. See ya.